Hello and welcome to Break Art Now. For today's video, I had the pleasure of interviewing the amazing writer Lydia Baker, award-winning author of Ava. Before we start, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. On today's video, I'm doing a shout out to the Rocky fanat on the chalkboard. Now let's get the show started. Hello, Lydia. It's wonderful to have you here. Ava is your more recent book. Please tell us about it. Hello, my name is Lydia Baker. I'm author of Ava, which is actually um, released today, the 20th of July, so you can get that um, from all good retailers. Ava is a sci-fi novel about a girl called Ava who's trapped inside a barrier and desperate to find out what's on the outside. But if you want to know what's on the outside, you're going to have to read it. What about your previous stories? Um, I've written another book called The Return of the Queen, however that isn't um, available to purchase. Uh, it's in the works, it's uh, being rewritten, um, but it did win an award for uh, Best Paranormal Romance from the Pink Heart Society. Ava itself actually won an award from Angora Lost the Pollot um, Awards. It came fifth, so that was really exciting. Um, and I'm really excited to share it with you today. What kind of storyteller would you define yourself as? So I like to write stories that you can escape into, things that you can just drift off into and be in another world, whether it's for 10 minutes, half an hour, whatever time you have to read. And hopefully you get sucked in and uh, you want to stay in that world a bit longer and find out what happens. Um, I like, I generally when I write, I like to write a bit of a plot, write an idea and then kind of go with it. Often the storyline takes a bit of a crazy curve and then I have to go back and rewrite things again. But in the end, it all kind of comes together. And uh, yeah, it's something I absolutely love. What led you to become an author? I've always written. I think I started writing when I was about eight years old. I used to get told off, well not told off, but told that I needed to write shorter stories at school because I would just go on and on and on. Um, and the teachers probably got sick of reading them. Uh, and I had a teacher in year four who said to me once, uh, I'm going to see your name in books. And that just stuck with me. That really stuck with me. And I guess that was the moment I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do. So, yeah, I've always written, always uh, enjoyed writing. Any message or advice to other storytellers out there? Um, but, you know, it takes time and... Some of the other things I've written were not so great um, and I found reading more and more different books has really helped me as an author to improve my writing style and my writing skills. So yes, yeah, so I guess that kind of falls into the same category with anything, any tips for those who want to become an author. Just keep writing. It doesn't matter what you write, doesn't matter if it's a short piece, a long piece, write, write, write and read read everything doesn't matter if it's not the kind of genre you'd usually read doesn't matter if it's not the kind of book you'd usually pick up in the bookshop read it because you just don't know whether it's going to be the book that goes yeah i could write like this or whether you can also take from that ah this is not the way to draw people in this is not how to do it and learn so much but also i found speaking with uh, better readers that really helps being able to talk over ideas, get people to read through your work and just give you feedback. And not to be too worried if people are critical because people are going to say things you don't always like, but learn from it, take it, and make your work better. That's the best thing to do. I mean, I've spent quite a lot of time working um, with an editor who, you know, gave me loads of tips and kept saying to me, stop using this word, stop using that word. So I took those out and it, it did make it better. And I've, my next piece of writing was massively improved. So yeah, just keep writing, keep reading. Those are my top tips. How can we enjoy more from Lydia Baker? So yeah, as I said before, Ava is out today. Uh, she is available in all bookstores. Uh, she's available on Amazon, from Cab Publishing directly and also from Waterstones, so you can go and order it from Waterstones. Uh, you can also order it on Smashwords, I believe. Uh, and there's lots of reviews, so please check out the reviews on Goodreads. Um, check out the reviews on Amazon. There'll be some on Facebook. Uh, but also, yeah, you can contact me via Facebook. So I have um, a Facebook page, Lydia Baker Author. Um, I also have an Instagram, so at LLBaker. Um, author as well so please check that out for more updates 
Um, and hopefully book two will be on its way to you soon. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Lydia, for being here. Please follow her on her socials and get your copy of Ava. All links in the description. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and wish you all come back next week. Bye-bye.